go for the shock instead of the fairing, I don't know. Oh! And then you want one with just your bike? Uh, all right. This was my grandpa's bike. And my whole life it sat, never ran, and just like last month we got it running together and uh, I know for a fact that it has seen 30 years of the inside of a dusty ass barn. <laughs> so I thought, Grandpa, I'm, I wanna bring this and show this beautiful motorcycle off at the one show. And he said I had to sign the waiver and here we are. Two thousand six CRF five hundred aluminum frame supermoto, completely safe. Lowered TT seventy, painted cute green. <laughs> well, we own a distillery, so and we like bikes, so we always wanted to make a bike that ran on our own juice and uh, distilled this from grain that we grew ourselves, and then ran it on the ethanol uh, down in Bonneville. Hi. Been in my family for years, and now I'm rebuilding it to hopefully race again this next year. Replace all the drivetrain with a scary fast motor and uh, more motor than bike for sure had the parts. <laughs> this is a wheelie machine. It's meant to just <laughs> hoon on and fuck around and break the law. Some leather suspension, Bassani exhaust. Chopped the bag so I wouldn't scrape them when I wheelie. Chopped the fender. This took about eight months build, you okay. know, with paint. Kicking it there, it's been about four months of paint. In that linkage, I, I probably have 500 hours. This is about a 35 year build. Got electronic ignition. Got a CNJ swing arm. Brian Turfree expansion chambers. I got the 48 millimeter front forks here. Got a momentary on the drive belt with a pressure gauge. This is what dogs wear on their neck when they've been licking their nuts too much. <laughs> Just trying something different. See if we can get a little bit more speed out of her. Did he, that, does that give it more speed? No. Oh. <laughs> Just finished it like 12 hours ago. Yeah. So I'm kind of over it. This is his bike, you might want to interview him. I don't know, I'm stoned <laughs> right now. <laughs> I know that feeling. We tried to build something cool, yeah? We'll try to show. Start on Rob. Rob on Brent. We'll be out here for a What kind of stuff can you get into on a motorcycle like this? Oh, nothing good. <laughs> nothing good, you know, just a whole lot of sketchiness. What can you get into? What do you want to get into? Fucking wheelies, baby. <laughs> wheelies. Wheelies and wheelies, man. I've been pulled over so many times, um, but nine times out of ten, they're just pulling me over to say, hey, you know how fast you're going? And by the way, like, we learned on these things in the academy. <laughs> you only get tickets when you pull over. <laughs> We don't stop for cops. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I'll ride it a few times and then I'm probably gonna raffle it off. Yeah, I rode it a couple times already and I'm gonna sell it once I'm done with the show. I mean, as long as I don't have to look at it anymore, I kinda have to. What's the most epic thing you've ever done on a motorcycle? Won a professional race. For, for what? For motorcycle racing. Probably around Baja. That was pretty shitty. <laughs> Went on this really cool all women's ride up in Canada. Wheelies down the freeway. <laughs> Not on this though. <laughs> like first road trip with all the buddies. Building bikes so far has been pretty incredible. That, that's like, you know, what's your favorite kid? The breaking down, the like constant fixing on the freeway. When I sent my, my dirt bike uh, off the side of a trail down into a clear cut, like 200 feet. Any day on a dirt bike is a good one. <laughs> Every time I don't crash. That one time I twisted the throttle and I, uh, I can't remember the rest. That's, that's the best time ever on a motorcycle. <laughs>